everyone, welcome back to Katarina's Garage. My name is Katarina Lloyd and actually I am here at Flatla Auto Wrecking here in Tilly, Alberta. Now there's some really cool cars and without any ado, well let's start with, this is an old Roadrunner, uh, Valari Roadrunner, which is really cool. You don't see these hardly ever. And I can only tell just because it's got the spoiler mounted on the back there. Um, very neat. We got another C71 Dodge with that, I believe that's a one year only grill, just like that grill that was over there. Right, so got that. Um, we continue on here in a nice old Vandura. There's some uh, more modern stuff here, which don't really care about this stuff, but see, I think the classics might be further in. I mean, oh, actually, they're, they're spread out. Okay, right. yeah, because this stuff, eh, who really cares? That's actually a decent bumper on that, but um, you know, like there's a 49 Chevy uh, sedan. That's cool, right? And just all the stuff you're gonna see back here because, oh, there's a Shelby Charger. No, that's a Rampage. That is a Rampage with the Shelby front end. Oh, that is so cool. I love these little trucks. They're And this has the really rare roof mounted spoiler. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is amazing. I love it. Yeah, it's cool. And it's not super rusty actually, surprisingly. All right, continue on here. Yeah. Sorry, we're gonna have to go through this quick because we have to find what we need because we should have called ahead, but we didn't. So, you know, it's fine. Um, let's see. Let's go. Oh, shit. There we go. Continue on here. Yeah, not really too, too much cool at the moment. There's an old, there's a T-bird sitting over there. Uh, but that's an, it says 85 on the windshield, right? How cool is that? V8 Auto, that, that has the transmission I want. <laughs> that has that AOD. But I ain't pulling it out of a car. I'll find one that's already pulled. Um, all right, let's see. Sorry, guys, there, there isn't too, too much that's super exciting at the moment. We'll find stuff, I promise you. And when we came into the yard, there was, a, you know, a Cornette and stuff like that. Um, okay, so you said past the willow, so it's back in here. This looks like mostly Dodge back here, so I'm not sure. And looks like an old checker back there, too. Um, and I'm seeing, yeah, this is mostly Mopar. So I think he, he said past the willow, so I think it's back here. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, the, the Subaru Tribeca? Yeah, it's not a pretty car. Um, all right, let's continue. Uh, oh, there's a nice old international cab over there. That's cool. Uh, got, oh my God, this thing is just destroyed. That might be the trunk lid you need. That <laughs> yeah, that, that's an old Dodge. That's probably the trunk lid you need. Might be. So there you go. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. It looks like a tree or something like that. Hit that really hard. And yeah. Um, okay, this way, I guess. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know where the, the Fords are in here, and I'm recording all of this, so... Over there looks more like Dodge, but... Uh, if I can get up on top of... Oh, this is... Th there's Ford. There's Ford back here. Oh, that's an AMC Eagle Wagon. Look at that. Sweet! You know, got a nice... Oh, hey, there you go. Christine Fordor. Nice! They killed her with bullets. Yeah, they always did. <laughs> Um, here we have a nice 72 Monte Carlo here as well. Oh, man. I, I love junkyards like this. Especially, this is a no-crush junkyard. So, everything back here gets picked clean. So, it's quite nice. And, like, oh, yeah. I see. So, 70s, uh, early 70s by the looks of it. Duster sitting there with a 71 through 74 um, Plymouth with the back end chopped off of it. That's cool. Um, like seeing some Fords mixed in here, so have to just look. Ooh, a Studebaker bullet nose. <sighs> There's some stuff that's kind of uh, in here. Let's see. Cool old trucks here. Ooh. Yeah, another old, that's, that's another duster that's sitting there too. Because um, we're trying to find some Ford Fairmonts or something like of the like, but we're not seeing really much for Fords. 
Bielek. Oh, AMC Concord over there. Uh, yeah, this is just super, super cool. Like, check this out. And this goes for long ways around. Um, let's see, I'm seeing GM. There's, oh, nice, a Chevette scooter. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Cool old uh, Ford wagon. So there you go. So there's a Ford. So here's a couple of Fords here. An old RX-7 sitting here. Very. I'm sorry, that's not an RX-7. What am I talking about? That's a Daytona. Um, and that's a that's a Cricket. Now is that a Dodge Colt or a Plymouth Cricket? That's cool. Everybody started these in the hot rods back in the day, and uh, there were death traps when you did. But yeah, so a couple of Fords here and there, and then kind of tr trickled in. Oh, there you go. Chrysler Cordova without the rich Corinthian leather. Doesn't have it. But, you know, this cool old wagon, this is neat. I love it. Possibly Cornette wagon. Fury. Plus Fury. Yep. Uh, here we have a Meteor Rideau 500. And there's a Mustang too. So it looks like the further in we go that way, we're almost to the end of this, so we can hang, come around. There you go, that's that's a cougar. What's left of a cougar. Uh, early 70s here. These are the big cougars when they got just really big. Um, yeah, it's raining, it's cold, but hey. There you go, an old Maverick sitting here. Actually, ooh, a friend of mine needs seats out of this so let's just see are they any good nah that's probably trashed in there hard to tell for sure i still got the, the front seat and then the back seat there but i'll keep a mental note of that for him um he's up in valley view though so he's even further away than i am and that's that's a charger dodge charger not a cordoba and it had the leather in it, because it still has the leather back seat. Wow, a Buick Apollo. Holy crap, it's been a minute since I've seen one of those. Oh, yeah. This is just so cool. Oh, a Merker XR4 Ti. There we go. So if you guys don't know what this is, this, this is actually... Um, if you're European, you'll recognize this shape, because this is the Ford Sierra over there. And you guys had the Cosworth, so we didn't. And these had a 2.3 turbocharged four-cylinder in them. So, very cool. Not a very good car, but a very fun car. Um, still more Dodges, so I'm not sure. There, there's Fords scattered in amongst here, so maybe we have to go further back. This looks a little more Fordish. Over yeah, so, because again, we're looking for specific Fords here. So, to see, there's another Mustang 2 right beside that T-top car. Cool. Beside this uh, wagon. Very neat. Yeah, let's see, there we go. All the Fords back here. So yeah, 77 T-Bird. Then we have an 84-ish T-Bird. That is the version of the... Uh... Oh, that's what you're doing. Okay. I'm like, you're not actually pulling the hood on that, are you? <laughs> um... Like, this is essentially Ford LTD with the Mercury version, so that's cool. Oh, a Mercury Bobcat wagon over there. That's like a Pinto, right? So, very cool. There's a couple other... Uh... Oh, that's the turbo. 2.3 turbo. So, that's just the same engine that's in that uh, Mercury over there. Very cool. So, is it a sticker? Was a sticker. So, cool. Very cool. Um, yeah, then this is the, uh, kind of the weird looking, um, Thunderbird. So this Thunderbird, which, you know what? I doubt it's a stick. Let's see, is it a stick? Because this might, this might. Uh, pedals down there. Only two pedals. And there's another one over there. Because again, this arrow Ford is what we're looking for. That it's a stick shift car with a 200 in it, which is kind of unusual. I found a T-Bird over there. And it, ooh, too bad that trunklet is destroyed. Man, 
It actually looks fairly nice too. It's sad that it's in here. Oh, there you go. That is the, the hot rod, as they called it, even though it wasn't really a hot rod. No, I'm okay. Version. There we go. Mustang V8. Six. Oh, oh, sorry. That is a six. You're right. There you go. V6 Mustang. And the doors, yeah, they look like crap on this thing, too. Automatic. Yeah. This uh, this is a nice, yeah, this is a 85 or 86? I think it's 86 because it, it is an 86, yeah. So there you go. This thing is cool. Just kind of a shame that's in here. And there's another Maverick there. So we're finding Fox bodies, finally. Oh, there's a Capri through there. But... Oh, there is a Capri. Oh, it's got the tail on one. We'll circle back around to it. Um, yeah, because just trying to find. There's another Pinto back there. That's cool. Oh, there you go. Hammered Mustang right there. That's an Escort GT, which is cool. They are cool. They're a cool little Econo box. Come on now. Four Econo box are cool. Oh, Fairmont. There we go, Fairmont. There we go, Fairmont way. Okay, now, first up. And oh, that's the Mercury. That's rare. Okay, 200 in this one. Let's see, is it a stick? Nope, column shift automatic. Okay, this is a Zephyr. Column shift automatic. And now this might be, if you want to. See, okay, this one automatic. automatic. Yep, with the 296. So it's the motor we're looking for, but automatic. So we need the stick. So all right, let's just continue on then. That's the price not complete there still. Yeah, well, it's not very often somebody comes in and take a look at those. I'm sure. So. Um, you know, cool the uh, Thunderbird here. The last of the really cool Thunderbirds, and that's actually that's a Super Coupe. That's cool. I don't see those very often. And now we're getting into the weird stuff. Like Ford console there. Those that's a cool car. Um Ooh. Wow. This is too late to have it's probably not a stick anyways, but this would be too late to have the uh, inland six in it. This is like uh, mid to late 80s. Wrong. With air conditioning. Wow. Now, is that a 2.3? No. I think oh, that is the inline six. This nose has been changed, so it fools you. Yeah, because it, it, it looks too late. So let's see. And yeah, column shift automatic. This one actually seems fairly solid just when I close that door. Um, oh, that nose has been changed. Yeah, it has. So, okay, that threw me off. But another inline six car. No. What about this one over here? Wagon. Yeah, a Mercury Zephyr wagon. <sighs> nope, V8. V8. V8 power. V8 wagon. Oh, a Mercury Lynx. So that's the uh, Mercury version of the uh, Escort. Super cool. Now that's not gonna have an inline in it. I don't think. Oh, another Fairmont. A lot of Fairmonts in here. Holy crap. Let's see. Survey says inline six. Okay. Just look for the transmission dipstick. Oh, I guess I could do that. Yeah, automatic. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay if you swear on my channel a little. It's not the end of the world. Um. Now this is a Monarch. Mercury Monarch. Oh, sorry, no, this is the Ford. Whatever the Ford version was called. That's what it was, yes. Oh, holy crap. Uh, Mercury LN7. That's a unicorn. <laughs> Not particularly desirable, but it is a unicorn. I'll show you guys what makes it a unicorn in a moment. Uh, but let's see. This is an automatic anyways. So, I want to take a look at this LN7 for a second here. Now, see these, it's kind of interesting when you look at them because they kind of have the styling of like a Fox Body Mustang, but they're not clearly. Uh, so this is an Escort that they did a different hatch style on. And these were slower than a regular Escort. 
um, because they weighed about 150 pounds more. And they've got this really funky nose on it on these early ones like this. And the rat is out of it by the looks of it. And, oh, the block is there, but no head is there. So that's really cool. Um, ooh, that's a hammered Capri. Holy crap. Take a look at this Capri. It's freaking like, holy hell. Buddy smoked a pole hard on that. And this was an RS actually. But looks of it, at least this hood was an RS hood. Let's see, and oh, tail lights are destroyed in it. Rip. All right. Um, we did see. Perfect restoration project. Yeah. Now we did see some other That's stuff. The car. There's another Capri here. Sixty-three Galaxy two little fastback. That's rare. Holy crap! It is too. Wow. Nice old T-Bird in behind it too. Very cool. Um, now this, we can just look back here, inline six. And automatic. Damn, I'm striking out here. Um, there's still a few more to look at down the way here because there's, there's a couple more Fox bodies that we saw. Yeah. A lot of inline six cars, but striking out on the stick shifts. Which I was told that they were sticks. Empty. Yeah, well that that's too late to have what we need anyways. Now this is too late to have what we need. That's an 88. This one looks earlier, but there's nothing in it. So that's not going to work. Huh, see, normally I don't do my videos this way, but this is what's happening. Ooh, is that a good truck light? Let's see. Please don't be rusty. Please don't be... Ah, it's rusty. They're always rusty. Huh? Always rusty. I never find one that's not. You never know here, right? Yeah, see, there we go. See, they, they, there's these two. So these are like the European force that they imported over here. Um, but they're really cool. Don't see too many of those. So like Ford console and... That one I think is a Ford as well. Maybe it, maybe it might be Mercury. I'm not sure. But regardless, I don't know anything about them, but they're just cool. It just it says six on it, so. It says Ford product made in England on the grill. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> so they're essentially kind of like an Anglia. Now, ooh, that is a hammered 85 or 86. There. Mustang 2 notch back with a differential hanging out of it. That's cool. Actually, hang on. Will this have what we need? Nope. V8. <laughs> Ooh, there's a uh, old Mustang here, about a 66, 67. That thing doesn't look like it has a tranny in it. So that's not going to have what we need. And those mostly had 250s in them anyways. That generation of Mustang. Not much left of this one, but it's here. Now, here's another Granada. Inline six. Ooh, we might have a winner. Just double check. No, it, it, it's, it is an automatic. It just like pulled the dipstick out of it. Damn. Yeah. Oh man, it's only got one tail light on this Capri. Too bad I didn't have both of them. Because I want these taillights. That's actually a nice taillight, though. Holy crap. That's in good shape. It's only one, but... Very cool. Ooh, these are very rare seats. These are the high back without the headrests in them. Automatic car, though. But, cool. And it's a sunroof car, too. Actually, ooh, no, that's aftermarket sunroof. Oh, another Mustang 2 over there. A yeah, cool little Capri, but this is an early Capri too. Nice brake pads on here. Yeah, I'm not taking brake pads off that. <laughs> I'm not that cheap. Um, there's a Ford Courier over there. Holy yeah. crap! There's another Mustang too over here. It is a Ford bell housing. Not a low mount starter. Whatever it is, low mount starter. 
Yeah. Looks like it. And that, that one's a high mount. Automatic. That's a high mount starter. Or an automatic. Though. Oh, yeah. I guess that is an automatic. You are correct on that. So, okay. that That's not going to work. Um, What about this Mustang 2? This could work. Oh, my God. This is a unicorn. This is a cougar wagon. Fuck, yeah. You don't see any of those around. No. This is a very, very rare car. Um, didn't make very many of them because a lot of people think of the Cougar as only being a two-door coupe. That is incorrect. They also made four doors and wagons, just like that. Um, let's see, Mustang 2. Oh my God. Automatic. There is a couple of, uh, what do you call them? That buddy? Call my GT. Looking for something? Yeah, he was looking for seats for one of these. So that's a bench seat that's destroyed. Um, let's look in this one. These seats are destroyed. That's actually a stick shift car. But, yeah, which actually that. Hang on. Let's see. These usually had 250s in them, but sometimes they had a 200. This might be the winner. Survey says. If I can find the release. You know, we may have a winner here. So this is a three-speed manual um, with the high mount starter back there. And so if it's a high mount, I know it's not a 250. This is a 200. Um, just double checking up front. No water pump on it, but three bolt. Yeah, this is a 200. So um, easy way to tell with these because the, the water pump will have four bolts holding on. That's a 200. I already know that. Yeah. So, this might, this may or may not work, because it is a three-speed. I'm not sure on that, but if that'll work or not, but that, that's going to be... Let's get some of the clutch mounts. Yeah, we're good. It's going to be close, if it's not. All right, so this might be a winner we shall see. And Oh, those are really rare taillights. Too bad they're cracked. Or at least the one's cracked. Because these are early, uh, um, those are the early taillights. So this is like uh, 70 to 70, like 2, 73. Before they went to the big bumpers. Because those taillights are indications of that. Um, let's see. Uh, Mercury Bobcat, probably not. That's going to be a... Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. For, that's a two-door. That's cool. That's a two-door wagon. So, as our European friends would call it, that's a shooting break, even though it's slow as hell. <laughs> yeah, T-Bird. There, and it is another 2.3 turbo. Yep. Wow. How many 2.3 turbos are going to be back no, here? I mean... I know. Sometimes. By what wheels? Ah, that's fair. That makes sense. Yeah, that, that, that's cool. Um, Let's see, another Escort, early Escort. Which actually, because you know that uh, radio that I have at home? I actually took it out of an Escort GT out of a junkyard. Oh, check these out. I love these old freaking little spotlights on this old Lincoln. Look at those. They have a killer look to them with that amber on it. With all the chrome. Oh, they're going to be rusted on, though. I'm not going to be able to get those off. But those would be cool. Um... That was a five speed? Oh, that's such a shame. Um, okay, well, so we might have a winner. We'll see, but for now, let's continue on the journey. We're just going to look at the Fords because we're still hunting for the proper thing. Now, we didn't go down this one, did we? No. No, I don't. No. <laughs> There's some mixed in there, some Fords, some not. So, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, this, this is a bit of an odd video for me. I will agree with y'all, because I'm just overloaded with uh, sensory overload over here. Um, junkyards like this really excite me. Like, can I say, that's just a bunch of old trucks and stuff like that. Not seeing any things smaller, unless it's further down, but... Nice old, so this is an old Ford F100. Um, yeah, that, that's the rare part about it. It's a short box, non 4x4, and was an automatic. So, 
I'm politically incorrect, redneck, and proud of it. Nice. <laughs> right on the dash. <laughs> With that air cleaner there, that would be Oh, 306. Yeah, cool. Uh, there's an old Ranger. Ranger Danger. And there's that Cougar Wagon. From the front. That thing is just super cool. Just an absolute whale of a car. Okay, so I'm seeing, like, oh yeah, so we did go down here because we saw this Capri over here. Well, you walked through the... Oh, I guess I did too. Yeah, that's right. Shortcut, you saw that taillight and beeline straight for it. Yeah, well, because I was hoping there was two. There's only one. I don't know what he charged for taillights, but... Oh, there's another T-Bird, but it looks like it might not have a motor in it. Because this is the right vintage. No motor, no tranny. So, nope. That was pulled, so that was probably a 5-liter car. Um, it's cool. And a bunch of old cool Fords over here. I'm, you know... Just 80s and stuff like that, and you know, you got, you got your brick noses and stuff, and whatever else. Super neat. Ooh, that's a that's a Torino. I found a Torino. So this is like, I'd have to see the front end to see what year this would have been, and that's a V8 car, so no, that won't work. Um, if it still has the front, no, the front end's completely gone. So this is a 70s Ford Torino. This is cool, right? And, uh, this was an automatic car. And there's, I think that's the factory, uh, uh, intake from this car, which is two barrel intake. But very cool. Love it. This thing is just amazing. Um, th eh, this might. Oh, okay. You looked. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, because we are on the hunt for, if you didn't hear earlier, a 200 inline six stick shift. Grand Marquis is not going to have it. Too big. Um, that's a too late of a Mustang over there to have it. There's a big old Thunderbird. That's an early 70s Thunderbird. Up to about 74, 75. That's a 73. There you go. 460 car, too. Uh, I don't think so. What kind is it? Hard to tell. Yeah. Uh, ah, there's glass there. Like a Honda. Yeah, it's a little Honda. Yeah, it looks like a Honda. Probably a 450. Yeah, see, that's a cool little bike. I don't need it, though. That's cool. I want an old bike someday. But, now it's kind of interesting. So we have, okay, so th this is going into GMs now, here. There's one Mustang, yeah, but that's too late. Of a Mustang. So we only got a couple more rows to go. And some stuff along the back, maybe. But other than that, we only have maybe one. And we don't even know for sure. Because basically what I'd have to do, unfortunately, we'd have to pull that bell housing and I'd have to bring mine and see if they match. <sighs> we are striking out. Oh, 81 T-Bird. Let's see. It has a hood off, so it'll be very easy to tell. Come on, come on. Survey says. No, that looks like V shape. Yeah, that's V shape. That's not inline shape. So, negative on that one. Um. Yeah, we're kind of striking out here. Just that one maybe. And it's a definite maybe. Because I'm not really seeing... I mean, we can continue on just to see, but I'm not liking our chances. Because, um, yeah, just a lot of really cool classics and stuff. But, you know, like there's an old Bronco. It's pretty neat. Ooh, that's a Ford Courier. It's kind of hammered, but it's there, at least cab-wise. That's cool. Um, continue on. That's a two-door Escort. And oh, that's a that's a two door like Mercury Sable or Ford Tempo. Is that it? It's kind of neat. Oh, another T Bird. Or no, that's a Galaxy. Yeah, that's a Galaxy. That's cool. Big old boat of a car. Very neat. Um, let's see. Yeah, see, normally I take more time, but there's so much stuff here, and we don't have a lot of time. 
wagon and one row back to your right. Oh, I see it there, yeah. Uh, we can cut through here. Or at least I'm going to cut through. Let's see. So is this little wagon here? Uh, that's a Lynx. Won't have it. That's going to be a four banger or a V6. That's cool, though. Um, it is a stick shift car, though, oddly enough. It says five speed on the back, but it's going to be wrong bell housing. Because they never put the inline sixes in those. That it's not looking too, too good here. Um, we found one potential, but that's it so far. So, um, which really does blow because there's such cool stuff here. I mean, it's not a total waste of trip. Like, you know, we had fun and whatever else like that. It just sucks because spend the money to get down here. Ooh, nice hammered roof on that. Lincoln Town Car. Yeah, huge. Oh, here's another one. And another town car that... Oh, that's the trunk lid. I'm like, did they do like a suicide door treatment on that? What the... <laughs> ooh, ooh, early Mustang. Uh oh, oh, it's not even popped? Okay. Is it at least a stick? No, it's not automatic. Ah! Darn, it's got my steering wheel in it, too. Oh, the trunk lid. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, it's bent. It's probably. Um, yeah. Oh, ooh, yes. Real bad. You know, these taillights are actually in good shape. Not that I'm going to pull them, but they actually are in very good shape. Like, this thing had a decent amount of options, too, but let's do it. Yeah, that, that's my steering wheel. Right? So that, that was only a couple years that that was offered. Um, and it was just, it was an option for that steering wheel. No. I've already got sail panels. Yeah, but those are red. <laughs> yeah, I don't need red sail panels. I got my black ones that work. Oh, <laughs> I don't need a turd, thanks. Oh my god, look at these giant ruts in here. <laughs> there you go, Mer the, the last generation Mercury Cougar. So sad before Mercury died. That's that's one of the last cars that they made. Mm. That's my favorite twin end. Almost. Same here. So this, this... Oh, it's a ranch arrow. Oh, that's even cooler. So this is a Ranchero that's based on the Ford Torino. And this front end was, I think, 72 to 73 only. Um, yeah, it says 72 on it. So this is a 72. Fortunately, there's no motor in it. So, because this potentially could have been a big block stick car for all we know. Um, ah! I'm good. We continue on here. Okay, so that's a 70. Okay. Why does that say... Oh, that does say 79. Okay. It's 79 Lincoln... Uh, is this a Continental? Mark V? Not sure. Yeah. Um, very cool, though. I love these big things. And 79 was the only year for the 400 big block in those. So... Um, yeah, we're striking out here. And it really sucks. There's such cool cars back here. Like, so many. And, yeah, we're getting into the Chevy. Ooh, although I, I do want to check this out really quick. Well, I'm looking at the Tornado. Yeah, this is a 66 Tornado. So these are a front-wheel drive luxury coupe. They're just so amazing. And um, these are based on the Cadillac... Um, sort of front-wheel drive drivetrain and whatever else. These were all big blocks, which it's still in there. So that could be 430 or 455, probably. They didn't put any small blocks in these. They were big block only, so. Um, looks like a fairly complete car, too. How has this not been picked clean by somebody that needs the parts desperately? They might not. Yeah, so there's a 66 Tornado here if anybody needs parts. At Flatlaw Auto Wrecking in Tilly, Alberta. So here we go. So I think this is the Ford Courier I may have spotted earlier. Oh, sorry. Okay, Mazda tailgate. Is it a Mazda or is it a Ford? Because they're they're the same thing. But these are such a cool little truck. Okay, this is a Ford. So this is the Courier. Um, and what's really cool, actually, because these were Ford's little contemporary. Uh, this was their compact pickup back in the day. And they're very small. I don't even know really engine options on these or anything like that. This one happens to be a stick. And actually, this truck doesn't really look that rusty. Now, it's possible underneath it's just destroyed. You never know. Like, this frame could be folding in half for all we know. But, sitting in grass like this. 
However, let's see under the hood. We have, ooh, that's a Mazda 4 pot, whatever that is. I don't know the Mazda engine, so. This thing is sweet. What does it say on here? 140 cubic inches. Woo! That's a massive engine. It'll go really fast. 140 cubes of four-cylinder fury with a stick shift. Yeah, see, there you go. Just swap that entire drivetrain into your, into your car. There you go. <laughs> Be a nightmare to find parts for. Um, even harder to find parts for than what we already have. So, um, This is a cool old LTD Crown Vic that's fairly complete. Just missing a few things, but actually what it's missing is in the back seat. So there you go. Very cool mid-80s. Awesome possum. Yeah, we are... Oh, that's a Mercury Cougar. Cool. 1990. I almost bought one of those. I had the back window smash out of it, though, so I didn't buy it. It was 300 bucks, though, so that's why it was tempting. Uh, there you go. 89 Ford Bronco. Which, ooh, check out those seats. Those are actually... Those look clean up pretty good, actually. Wow. Those are nice seats. This is a uh, decently option, too. AC car windows and locks you know a few options i think i hear his quad <laughs> that's cool little 69 ford there um so continuing on here we have a mustang here which uh, automatic darn it Although, there's a random, uh, like, 86 taillights in there. <laughs> what about an 86 taillight? Yeah, that's the same as mine. Um, ooh, that's a sweet old Torino, which actually... If you want to look under the hood, you'll have to pop it if you want to look under the hood. Yeah, I'm not sure what's even... Oh, that's a, that's another Festiva. That's the old Festiva. Yeah, that's the first-gen Festiva. You thought the new ones were bad? These ones are... Yeah, let's see. What, what motor does this one have? Um, let's see, is the pull thing here? Oh, it's, it's gone. <laughs> the pull is gone. Well, it's latched too. Yep, so, can't open the hood on this one unless we, like, cut it open. Oh, the hood's pretty nice shape. It is. And they're actually kind of right, and this, this bumper cover's in good shape too. That's so. fully fixable, easy. Yeah, that's actually a saveable car, and it's so sad that it's in here. But yeah, because a friend of mine might be interested in parts off of that. Ooh, that's a 9-inch diff in that. That's what it says on it for that Torino. Yeah. So it might be a big block car then. Honestly, they just put nine inches in those big. Oh, a couple more Mavericks back here. Oh, and another Fairmont. Okay, let's see. Survey says. Is there a motor in there? Yes, there is. Inline six. Automatic. Another, uh... Well, there's a three about four down. Yeah, I see, and there's a Mustang right beside it, too. All right, and now this... Come on. The latch is kind of stuck. It's right in the middle. Yeah, if you can pull that up, because I, I, I didn't quite... Couldn't quite get it. Oh, there we go. And... Oh, it's inline six. Inline six. I don't think there's a transmission. Oh uh, no, there's a tranny back there. Uh, this is a manual. But is it a 200 or 250? Um, so let's see here. One two. No this this is this is a 200. Uh, well, yeah, there's no springs on the head because you you got the prop here. If you can get it out. One of these. There you go. And put it to the corner there. This one looks different than the other one. Yeah, th this one's a little different. So let's see. Are you actually a stick shift? Because you kind of look like it. Uh, that almost looks like an automatic, well, but I... It's got a kick no, Does it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Darn. That's a weird carburetor to see that with that. I don't think I've seen one of those. Huh. Oh, that's the Carter. That's why. They had a couple different. That that's the Carter carb. They also had a Holly carb too. The I'm not sure if it is. That's a factory sunroof car. Cause look at the fit and finish on that sunroof. V8. 
That's an inline car. With the Automatic. rip. The kick yeah, the kick down cable. Darn! We're striking out here. That's a cool old van, Conline. Oh, it's got the side louvers. That's awesome. They're plastic, though, so I don't really care. Oh, another Fox body. A couple of Fox bodies. Uh, should we go right to the end and go back and forth again? Or... Yeah, uh, you know what? Maybe go down to the end of this one and circle back around. That's even a notch back over there, too. So, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Well, that way we're just efficiently Look. covering them all instead of... Yeah, that's true. A little bit willy-nilly, but... So, yeah, basically, this is going to be like an all-Ford video. So, because I knew there was... Uh, it's got nice taillights in it, too. That, Capri. Um, Ooh, that's, that's too late. Are they out? No. They're still in. But they look decent. There's two sets of those taillights in here. One's decent, the other far one's half gone. Oh, okay. Well, there was with a good set down there. Oh, we see another Mustang. So this is too late because the quarter window got bigger in 88 when they did the arrow front end. Um, whew. Let's see. This is early enough. This is uh, as much as 82. No, that's four banger. Four banger. Um... Cool old Lincoln. That's like a Mark III, actually. I love those a lot. 69 Montego over there. So that's the uh, Mercury version of the Torino. Another, that's a TTAF Capri. Oh, that's such a shame. So rare to find. So I'll check this one. In line four. Ah. Uh, on the hunt for that elusive, elusive um, thing. Let's see. Your left. Oh, this one, yeah. Let's see. Survey says. In line six. High mount starter on this one. Kick down, automatic. Nope. Keep on trucking. Uh, We're okay. Okay, okay there, there is one other... Okay, there's a couple other Mustangs right here. That one's too late. That's in like 85 or 86. But here we have another 81 or 82. And there's another... Is that a Maverick sitting there? V8. Unless it was a six. Yes. No, it's a, it's a V8. Yeah, it's a V8. I saw the cap tilted like this. Yeah, I was going to say, I know a V8 when I look at one. I mean, yeah, no. I mean, I did say, no, it's not a matter car, too. So. Not a V8. So, like, okay. Well, we don't have any luck here. We're not looking for for your car is a gas tank. Oh, that's true. Yeah, wherever the Hondas are, which <laughs> they're, they're kind of scattered in between. Oh, there's a Mustang 2 over there. Buried back here. Mustang 2. And survey says... Is there... Well, there's a drive shaft in it, so that's not a good sign. Nah, that... Uh... Oh, this might have been a stick car. No, four banger. Did not mean to do that. It slipped out of my hand. Um, okay. Yeah, so that's basically more or less the cutoff. Kind of, well, there's some dodges scattered in between here. It's kind of interesting. Um, okay. Oh. Ooh, is that? I don't. That looks too big. Not the one. Yeah, it looks too big. That's yeah, low monster too. That's true. So there this, you go. This is the problem that I'm worried about on the other one. Oh, if it's there? Because if, even if it's up here, this needs to be on this side for mm. our application. That's so, true. That's the problem. Right? Yeah, because like you see mine, mine's like perfect for that. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There, there, there's the factory Philco, not even the Ford badged one. 
radio. That's the AM radio. Same radio as in mine, but some of them are badge for Philco, some of them are badge Ford. So Philco made the radios, but cool, very cool stuff. This might be, uh, it might have been, this, uh... Oh, that's an EFI car. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely an EFI car. Well, it's also later too, looking at that grill. Ah, okay. Another Mark V that's just, somebody stole the 460 out of it. This is where they put the people that try to steal parts. Yeah, there you go. Right down there. They go into their pit and they stay there. So yeah, there's some cool old 50s stuff back there you can kind of see. I'm not going to trounce back there unless I have to for any of this stuff. Um, Yeah, kind of striking out so far. You see it and too bad, like that thing is so hammered. That's so sad. There's a Maverick controller. Yeah, there's no motor in it. I mean for your seats. Or whatever they I don't do. I don't need oh for him, yeah. I'm just making a mental note of the stuff for him too. Ooh, that is that a full convertible ram charger? Yep. I holy crap. Yep. That top is worth a mint. So they only made these for like a couple of years, and it's just too bad that this one got hammered in the side, because otherwise it probably would not be in here. So yeah, there we go. So now we can get to there's a T-Bird there, which is not going to have what we need, but the Mustang next to it. And that Mustang's too late to have what we need. There's another Fairmont here. Okay, that hood looks closed. Let's see, is the hood pull still here? Or you're an automatic anyways. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Automatic this one? There's another Merker. Yes, column shift. Another Merker there. Ford LTD. Okay. Let's just continue on. So much stuff in here. So much to see. I could stay in here for probably a couple of days just filming everything. <laughs> yep. If I really wanted to. Like, I could make this into, like, eight. Well, actually, if I just did individual videos, hang on. Early T-Bird. Here. Let's just see before I even pop the hood. Automatic. Damn. Got going through so much. There's a lot of four door trainos in here. But yeah, lots of Fox body stuff. Um, that's a factory sunroof car. Wow. And that's an 83. So, judging by it, it doesn't have a motor in it, it's probably a V8 car. So, um, okay, there's no motor in this Mustang, but, and no tranny either, so, okay. Oh, wow. That's a rare seat. That is one of the gilded, like, Gia seats. Oh, yeah. Yeah, such a shame. That's the low back one. See, there's a Gia badge on that. Oh, there is two. That two? And actually, ooh, there, there is a motor in it, but I don't think it's an inline. That's a V8. Or, yeah, that's V8. Um, wow, two-door Galaxy. Such a shame. All right, let's get back. That's an AMC Matador wagon. Holy crap. Those are cool. Kind of, depending on the, the year, kind of ugly front ends, but cool. Right? Very, very neat. Ultimate whale of a car. And look at how much, how hammered it is. Hey, there was a year of these where they weren't. <laughs> There was, like, a really... Oh, there's a puppy. Hi, puppy. There you go. Gratuitous dog love. Hi. Where'd he come from? I don't know. I guess we got to follow her now. Where are you going? Hey. Uh, this Shoot. Mustang probably doesn't have a motor in it. Let's see. Doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, nope. No mota. No tranny. Um, no motor, nothing. no tranny, nothing, nothing. another cool old ranchero, and this is a little later one, this is like a 73 and up ranchero, very, very cool, got another Mustang here, but is there a tranny in it? Well, there's a tranny, it's upside down in it. <laughs> 
that's I think is a That's a stick shift one. Oh my God, it's loose. Is that the bell housing? This is the bell house right here. <laughs> and that's the high mount. Yeah, that's the that's the exact one we need right here. That's the bell housing we need. Oh. Okay, so there's that. The other one now, if you want to spend a lot of money, you can get. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's a unicorn of a bell housing that we found in here. So that's nice. So yeah, so this is the tranny. So somebody pulled the inline six out of it. So this is the original tranny to the car. But whether or not it's any good, because it's kind of been in the dirt. Which, well, there's the tranny. We just don't have um, the flywheel. Is the gear shift in it? <laughs> yeah, so that might be the tranny that we need to. Because I think, yeah, because they didn't put the three speed in these. They only put, oh, hang on. There's a flywheel sitting here. There is a flywheel. I think everything I need is here. Oh, we may have just hit the jackpot. Now this definitely needs to be resurfaced because it's bad. Ooh, that, that could be it. You may have just hit freaking gold here, bud. I looked out for the claw here, buddy. Yeah. Oh, look, maybe you want this too. No. Unless you want it. Why would I want that? Got this shit out of here. Yeah, and you make so much more power. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's a wiped out clutch here, too. That's good. I'm going to take Is there a flywheel or no? Yeah, I'm holding it. Okay. It's in my hands. We may have just lucked out that all of this is outside of the car. Oh, it's so nice that this is out. Yeah. Oh. Holy crap. We found, a, we found our unicorn. <laughs> Oh, this is a heavy freaking... That's the one thing about these flywheels are oh, heavy. Gas tank is gone. It's, it's hammered. Okay, cool. So we got the unicorn. So I was told there was at least one in here that was a stick shift 200. And sure as, sure as shit, we found the flywheel, which is like... This flywheel needs to be resurfaced something severe. You even got... Yeah, there you go. The flex plate there. Got... The little exhaust there got the tranny, and there's the bell housing. So there we go. So we have everything that, yeah, that clutch is even more wiped than mine. But that is there's nothing left of the disc. Yeah, no, it's it's so screwed. But so okay, we at least have the parts. Now, depending on what he's gonna charge us, <coughs> we will have to see. So cool. So we don't have to scan anymore. I still will take video. Hey. Okay, so we actually do have foreign stuff back there too, so we can look for civic stuff. There. Here's what's left of the disc. Holy crap, let's take a look at that. That's even more wiped than mine. Oh my god. There's nothing left of that. Cause yeah, if you all saw my uh, last video or one of my last videos there. Oh my god. So there we go. That's everything we needed right there. How nice that it's out of the, the car. Except for the gear shift. Well we can get a shifter. Like another standard. That's another stick shift car? You should have started on this side of the yard. Yeah, should have. Now, does it have the, the pole in there? Because there is a motor in here. It it's got... All right, so continuing on here. Ooh, there's International Scout sitting here too. So now we get into the unusual stuff. Careful, yeah. yeah, it's all good. I'm being careful, I promise. <laughs> well, I just know we're getting tired. And... Yeah, oh, okay, no, that's not... That's an Accord. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they're the same gas tank though. That might be, this is a similar era. Oh, there's another, cause that's a second gen Civic. I don't know if that'll be the same. This is a first gen Accord. This might, it's a Honda Matica. <sighs> see, the problem is it's so buried. I can't even see if it has a gas tank in it. It's any good. But we can ask him about some of this stuff too, to kind of. on the flaps or no? Uh, I need a key. Do you have any key that's just small? I just because you can you can open it with any key. I think on my oh, come on. Let's just say I'm I I should be able Sorry. to even just a regular key in general. And this must be in this bucket. Yeah, because that, that we're going to be in trouble. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> okay, yeah. Hey, there's a couple on there. Yeah, so that's that's the one thing about these. They're just a general freaking thing. 
They should. Yep. Just turn like that. Oh, that's stuck. Oh, there we go. Ah, a little varnishy. Tiny bit varnishy, but not not horrible. There we go. Look how long our shifter is. Jesus. Yeah, oh, I know. The automatics are ridiculously <laughs> long. So, okay. So, this is a potential. It's smelling a little varnishy. It might be rusty inside. More than likely is. So, it's probably not the one to go after. What's that red chunk? What? Back, what is that? Which one? Like right there, what is that? Or this one? Red. That's like a, is that an RX-3? I think this green thing is a Rover, isn't it? Well, uh, maybe. You might be right on that. Oh no, it's an Audi, sorry. Oh, okay, that is an Audi. So what's that red brown thing there? Yeah, I'm looking. I'm trying to figure out what this thing is. I don't know. I kind of like the roof line on it. It is, oh, it's a Datsun B210. Oh, okay. That's why it looks weird. I know where there's a roof for one of these. It's actually out of Greg's. Red Civic. There's, left. yeah, there's, that's too late. Well, it won't fit, eh? I don't know for sure. I don't want to take chances. There is a first gen sitting here, though. Oh, if they're going to give it, like, 50 bucks or some shit. Yeah, first gen, so there's a couple of first gen Civics here. Let's see, is there any other parts that we need off these? I'm just trying to think if if we need anything else from these. Because again, these first gen Civics, they're not super duper rare, but they are kind of hard to come by when it comes to parts. This dog is playing with us. Here he is. Hey. Here's another Civic. Hi. <laughs> so now it's interesting. This is a trunk model Civic. This is the hatchback Civic. Because I don't know. Do you know about that? This is a trunk model, no hatch. This is a hatchback. Also, it hinges halfway instead of taking the glass. Yeah, too? yeah, it's right here. Huh. Yeah, it's it's such a stupid thing, honestly. Just get the full hatch. Like, yeah. why? That's another. I think that's in two there. That's cool. Um, so couple of potentials for gas tanks on these two. Well, where did you guys get the hood and grill and stuff on that idiot? Smash that stuff up for you. Saskatchewan. Oh my god. That's that's where they found that stuff. Ooh. Oh, Cordoba. Yeah, Cordoba. That's a Le Mans, I think. That's a cool old Ford. I love the hood on those. Right? It's such a cool hood. Ooh, there's a Ford Capri that... Oh, there's nothing left of it. There's nothing left of that Capri. No, it's a poor man's convertible. Yeah, that's it. They chopped the roof off of it. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's wow. a Plymouth Arrow. Oh, yeah, you don't see those anymore. No, that's a unicorn. <laughs> There's some really cool Hondas back here. Hey, look, it's identical to mine. Other than it's not a hatchback. Oh, so they do have some here. Good. Oh, my God. Do you see what's beside it? That's a Renault Le Car. Oh, yuck. That is the best car ever oh, made. No, I... I'm joking, obviously. So yeah, that is, let's see, it does, is it the same as mine? Keep saying that, you're gonna be walking home. <laughs> You're getting crap from my dad, just saying. <laughs> he'd have to come save me, or? Well, once I told him what you said, then he'd be right there with me. Yeah. <laughs> is that in a Sunu Sunrunner? Yes, it is. Ooh. The sun fired there before the... Before the Pontiac. Oh, six shift, four cylinder. So this is a 1200, just like, yeah. So this is identical, other than it's not a hatchback. Pull the gas tank lid there and see. Oh, hey, it's, the lock's not even in it. Oh, it's exposed. Yeah. I don't like my chances. So I'm not even going to try that. Those taillights are minty. How are yours? They're faded, actually. I don't know how to pull these, though, but. What you doing, dog? Hey, come here, you. Which, yeah, so that, so taillights, maybe. Hey. For ours. You're foggy. <laughs> Now this, yeah, this is another 78 or 79 because it's got the, the two-year only hood on it. So yeah, this is pretty much identical to ours. <laughs> such a silly pop. Yeah, so this is definitely, this, this has parts that we could potentially use. So keep that in mind. Um, Cool, so okay. Like the only thing I'm scared of because when they pulled stuff in here, I don't know if they pulled it in here or if they like forklifted it in or whatever, but if it is, because that gas tank might be destroyed because look at the roads coming in, right? Yeah. There's another Civic there. 
see a dog crawling underneath these cars. <laughs> <laughs> right underneath there. That's having fun. Leave him alone. I know, but... <laughs> What's oh. under there? Yeah, another... <laughs> another old... Oh, a 53 Buick. That's not Civic. You see, this one... So this is a... Yeah, this, this one would be the same. <laughs> the tail looks too different. Yeah, it's it's a different year. So is that older? This is older, yes. This is a probably a seventy seven to seventy four, I think. It is another stick and it is four speed, so this is going to be the twelve hundred just like mine. Okay. <laughs> it's nice to see that there's parts here though. I'm quite surprised that all how many uh ooh. um yeah, see, like, like, see, I like this grill more than the one I have. Yeah. It's a cooler looking grill. Apparently they interchange, but it's my dad's car, so I'm not gonna, you know, like, be all changing grills on them. But yeah, super cool. These old Buicks are sweet. Buick Straight 8 oh, and that one. Eight. Yeah, let's see. Is it still in it? Is it still there? Oh, it is still there. Oh, the hinges aren't even on it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I can't lift it with one arm. They are heavy. Look at that old lump. That's about an 800 pound lump of straight eight. Because it's all cast iron. <laughs> Just massive, right? Super cool motors. Like they, when they run, they run so smooth. This is amazing. So, okay, you can let it down. Now, and this, because three portholes, this is a Buick special. So this, so this is the bare bones one. <sighs> bare bones, but it's got the straight eight. So that's kind of rare. Yeah, the big wagon. That's a New Yorker. Two-door New Yorker. It's like the one I took away. Yeah, that's such a shame. Oh, a hun oh, that's not an... I thought it was a pony. It's not an Excel. <laughs> yeah, the ponies disappeared awfully quick. Yeah, they, they said... I've seen one. One of my dad's friends had one. The Excels lasted a little bit longer. I love these old Datsuns here. They're so cool. There's another Lacar in here. And there's that Supra I saw earlier. Ooh, Opal GT. Opal GT. That's so cool. Rough, right? Definitely rough. But like, it looks like a mini Stingray though. Yeah. And they made these through uh, 68 to like 72, I think. Very, there's a few of them around, but they are rare to find. And now it's a third gen Supra. This is my favorite generation of the Supra. Uh, you could not get a 2JZ in these. Um, it was 7M and, I believe, 5M motors only. So, oh, look at the hood. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. Oh, an Isuzu Trooper. Wow. That's a Datsun 510. Man, there's so much cool stuff back here. Like, you know, it's funny. Like, I'm passing, like, uh, like uh, I think an Imperial or a Newport and a Camaro, and I don't care all the... All, all these uh, imports are just cool because you never see them. You see these. You don't see these. Because when's the last time you saw any of these classics like that? That's a two-door. Now, is that an Accord or a... It's a special. That's that's Prelude. Yeah. Prelude Special Edition. Very cool. There's one out of Greg's that got T-boned hard. It was a four-wheel steering car. Cool truck and... Uh, Another little Datsun. Lots of Datsuns. Which I'm not shocked. There was a lot of Datsuns sold. To see them. Six down in Pallet. Two door. That's a cool car. Um, You know. Just so, so neat. There's another Rabbit, I think. And another Ford Capri. Old Dodge truck. Standard. Yeah. Ooh. Is this the Audi Quattro that is like one of the worst cars ever? <laughs> no, it's a 99. Okay. Because there is an Audi Quattro that's called the B6. They're fast as heck, but they blow up all the time. Oh. Cool. So actually, you know what? I'm I'm not going back here. I just want to take a look at this really quick. So my dad had one of these. This is a Volvo 240 wagon. An early one, just like what my dad had. Um, these, honestly, very, very rare to find. And actually what's beside it, <laughs> That's a Dodge Challenger right next to it. Yeah. You know what this <laughs> the, is? The import Challenger. What, that? 
3.3 liter Chrysler powered. Oh, it's slide six. Wheel drive motorhome. That's kind of cool, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Fiat X19. There's two of them back here. Wow, those are cool. Um, a rodeo, a 240. Then you have a bunch of other Japanese cars down there too. But we're not gonna walk down there because we should probably find Buddy and get our parts and then ask about a couple others. So that'll probably just about wrap up this video here. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll edit this out later and do more, but we shall see. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please like the video, comment anything you want to see down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as well, if you want to contact me, you can at Katarina's Dr. Raj on Instagram, Katarina's Dr. on Facebook, as well, follow me on TikTok at Katarina's Dr. Raj as well. Anyways, hope you're staying safe during COVID-19, good luck with whatever we're working on, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Pikachu!